Cisco Packet Tracer can run in two different modes. One is the real-time mode. It is like in a real networking environment. Other one is in a simulation mode. In a simulation mode, you can see how the packets are flowing, what type of packets are flowing behind the scene. It will be really good for educational purpose. So let's start with the real-time mode. Say if you want to ping sales PC1 from sales PC3, you go to sales PC3, go to desktop, command prompt, type in ping. 192, 168, 1.12. So this is a real-time mode. Normally there will be four ICMP packets are sent and you will receive four replies. So let's run the same thing in the simulation mode and see how things are working. This time I'm going to ping admin PC3 from admin PC1 because I want to see how ICMP and our packet flow behind the seat. So go to simulation mode and go to edit filters and you are going to make sure you have only ICMP and our protocols are selected. Close this one and go to admin PC1 and I'm going to ping admin PC3. Command prompt, ping 10, 10, 11, 10. Start the simulation mode. Now you can see how the packets are flowing. This is the play control. This way you can basically control the speed of this packet flow. I'm going to reduce the speed. Now you can see it did not know this IP first. So what it does is it send our packet first to get the MAC address and then it is sending the pink. So it will be sending four pinks. So you are going to see four pinks in four different colors. So let's go to this PC and you can see the first pink is completing now. I'm going to increase the speed so you can see them in a fast motion. This is the second ICMP. Now it is going to start the third ICMP. Now it is running the fourth ICMP packets. So all four pings are now complete. So let's try to do this again and see whether we can see the R packet. Let's go back again to this PC, go to command prompt again. Let's redo it and see whether we can see the R packet now. Simulation, play. Now let's see. So we started. So this is the first pink now going. That's a light brown color. And now the second pink is going on a different color. And you can notice it didn't send the R. Because the PC already know the MAC address, it is in the PC's ARP table. So it does not have to send the ARP request again to find out the MAC address of the destination host. So now the third ping is going. The fourth ping is now complete. Let me go to the filters and make sure we have both selected still. Yes, we do have ARP and ICMP selected, but second time it did not do the ARP. So let's go to this PC and look at its ARP table. To look at ARP table in a Windows PC, type in ARP minus A. You can see it is storing the information that's IP to MAC address mapping of this PC. That is admin PC1. The IP address is 10, 10, 11, 10, 10, 10, 11, 10. The MAC address is 000AF3392ADC. So let's go to this PC. Its MAC address is 000AF3392ADC. That's what we see in its ARP table. That is why it did not send the ARP request when we started the ping for the second time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this kind of video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification.